this is the first scooter in India which is more than 10 horsepower. It's got a very good grip and with small tires also. So this is how the interface looks like when you connect your scooter with the mobile phone. And look at that Odo. Already 95, 96. I am back at Sai Radha TVS and today I am going to take a ride of their all new TVS Entoc XP Race Edition. The last time you saw we did the unveiling of the scooter and today I'm gonna ride it and also give you a complete review of the scooter. How does it ride? How does it feel? And um, thanks to the manager Mr. Rajesh who is helping me with the scooter now. He is giving me the scooter and I will be riding it and telling you in detail should you consider buying this scooter for a family. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you Sairada for giving me this all new TVS N-Torque XP race edition which is a 125cc single cylinder 4 stroke FI engine and then this comes with a very beautiful 3 color combination which is red, black, silver and uh, let's take a walk around and tell you more about the scooter. Very very nice looking scooter and this is the first scooter in India which is more than 10 horsepower so this is powered at 10.2 horsepower at 7000 rpm and a 10.8 Newton meter torque at 5500 rpm so let's get a little close and have a look from the front so if you look at the front you get a integrated indicator from the top and uh, when you go down you have twin color uh, here which is a black and red and when you come on to the headlight very nice aggressive looking headlight with the DRL LED headlight and if you go onto the corner you have a mix of a little carbon fiber kind of a mixture here. And when you come on to the nose, you have a twin color nose again, black and silver color. Let's move on to the side here. So if you look at the front, this comes with a diamond cutting alloy wheel in the front with the disc brake. And this is equipped with synchronized braking system. And when you come on to the side, you have 125 race XP written here. Very, very nice. And then you have a branding again, RT race tune FI here let's go on this side very very good branding and talk here again 125 and when you look at the seat look at this uh, very nicely detailed work you have black color seat with red stitching and then again an end talk branding here and this is a three valve engine again when you go at the back you get an alloy wheel and you have a nice TVS branding there and the rear is a drum brake and when you look at this space here again you have a combination of black color with a little bit of again carbon fiber texture kind of a thing here and when you go on the back on the top you get a silver color combination and the best part you have the fuel knob on the outside so you need not get off the scooter to fill fuel and when you look at the back again you have the integrated indicators and then you have the dummy air intake nozzles here again with carbon fiber treatment kind of a thing here and moving on to the other side the sound or the exhaust of this is supreme very very nice and again there is CVTI written here let's listen to the exhaust note of this scooter very very peppy and a sporty exhaust note so now let's have a look at the riding console here so this gets a complete digital riding console and to your left hand side you have the dim dip left and right indicator and the horn button and to your right hand side you have the kill 
power switch on and off hazard light and then the start button and also this doubles up to change the mode so this is one of those scooter which has dual riding mode one first in its class which comes with the street mode and also race mode so now it says connected successfully and says hello garage so it's connected with my phone so if you look at this portion here tells you what is the battery of your phone and it says it's connected and then you have the fuel gauge here you get the timing here you have the minutes of travel done here and uh, it's basically connected to your bluetooth now and then you can press this to change modes and also to set so these are the two buttons here very good branding again here race xp mentioned and the overall look feel and the finish of this product is top notch now let's open the boot and show you the boot so let's open this you get a solid space here to keep your helmet and then you have a boot light as well in the night and then you have the usb charger also you can charge your phone and also it has a nice cap here to close and then uh, this is important when you need to connect your phone with your scooter so i'll tell you how does that happen and uh, let's close this and uh, we will ride and also tell you how this scooter rides now let's ride this wonderful TVS Entoc 125 Race XP edition and tell you how this rides. The only scooter currently in India which is powered with more than 10 horsepower and also comes with two riding mode. One is street mode and then is a race mode. Let's ride this. I'm slightly on the interior side of the place so here let me reach the highway and then tell you how this scooter rides otherwise let me just talk about how does it ride even in bad roads let's do that i feel bad for the scooter because it's just washed and i don't want to make it look bad again but then yes it's just uh, telling you it's got a very good grip and with small tires also it's doing very good the suspension is brilliant you see taking on this bad road is not a challenge at all the scooter takes it very very easily and currently i'm on the street mode so i will put in the race mode when i am uh, hitting the highway and this is one of my favorite spot to take a pick let's take a pick here So this is how the interface looks like when you connect your scooter with the mobile phone so you have a lot of options so it says bike overview my rides service reminder so my rides are basically what are the distances where and all you've gone and uh, yeah and then you have this uh, when you're on your ride mode you can give voice commands and also change between race mode and street mode this basically does the navigation for you and then once you finish the ride you say end ride so that's it and then you come back here so this is the interface very very easy to log in like i mentioned i was showing you the chassis number why do you need it so basically download the tvs connect app on your phone and then once you've done that you need to put your mobile number email id certain requirements and then finally you need to even chip in the uh, chassis number here and that's it so i've done about 9.2 kilometers so far and uh, yeah now let's hit the highway and uh, tell you how the scooter rides in highway now i'm back on highway and uh, let's ride this scooter and tell you how does it ride in highway conditions and also let's test between street mode and also race mode so the throttle response is very very good and uh, this is on street mode now and also let's talk about handling very swift movement very nimble very easy to handle
and also they say the company claims when you are on street mode the mileage is 45 km i must say the suspensions are really good and uh, getting on to this small uh, bumpy roads is not at all a problem handles this very very well and also the front suspension works beautifully in synchronization with the rear so i want to see the difference uh, between street mode and also race mode when you throttle it uh, and uh, what's the difference in power delivery now this is on street mode and this is already performing excellent even in street mode you don't feel uh, lack of power at all it has got the enough punch and uh, very very responsive the minute you throttle it and uh, handling also is very nice very very good handling and already i'm on 80s and they say on uh, race mode you can top speed up till 98 kilometers per hour and uh, no stress at all going in 80 85 on a scooter without a problem is brilliant i mean this is flying and uh, the vehicle is super sturdy there's no any kind of vibration feeling or this is throwing you off nothing at all it's super stable and uh, the braking also oh my god really good braking so the front is a disc brake and the rear is a drum brake and uh, this is a synchronized braking system which comes with this scooter and they work really really well and if you see getting on to such corners and just maneuvering the scooter is very very easy and this scooter is for someone who is a college going kid at the same time uh, their parents can use this scooter because uh, there are two different modes uh, the race mode can be used by the son and um, the son or the daughter whoever likes the adrenaline rush and also the street mode can be used by the father mother grandpa anybody now there's an empty road let's move to the race mode and just with the push of this button it moves on to the race mode and the power delivery is superb it is immediate power delivery and let me see if we can uh, max it out to 98 km per hour wow this can go super fast for a scooter this is fast and look at that odo already 95 96 and the braking is also very very good it needs slightly longer stretch to achieve that 98 km per hour but then easily could achieve 90 92 is easy after that you need some extra stretch to go up till 98 and uh, the throttle response is very very good and even the braking for that matter is extremely good look at that braking even at 90 92 when you brake it you see how immediately slow downs and you can exactly know where the scooter is going to stop because the braking is so good the handling of the scooter is really good this is definitely the race dna because the way the scooter handles is very good you can maneuver the scooter flip the scooter here and there and still know where exactly you are heading towards so there is a clear difference between two modes you can feel the difference in power when you are in street mode and uh, when you are in uh, race mode and especially that comes when you are going full out on the throttle after the mid range uh, when you actually go on the race mode you can really feel how it is pushing on to the next level and giving you the linear power as well so there is a good uh, initial and mid range when you are on the street mode and then uh, when you are on the race mode you have really good initial mid and also the linear power coming in and then this is an indicator to show you if you are on the economy mode or if you are on the power mode so green is economy mode and uh, the minute it turns on to orange it says you are on the power mode and now since i'm back to the city or getting in entering the city all i have to do is tap just one here and the mode changes to street mode
and you come back to fuel efficiency mode again now and even when you come back to street mode not that you will see there's a drop in power at all it is still the same very peppy punchy kind of a scooter and you know this is the kind of scooter i would have loved when i was in college time you know i i never got to ride or get such scooter during our time uh, there was not too much of an option but now there are a lot of option and definitely this is something to consider and uh, this is priced at a lakh and 12000 if i'm not wrong currently in karnataka and as a overall package it is a it's a very nice looking scooter at the same time delivers very good power and is very peppy as well and with that i come to an end of this review hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a like and also share this video with your friends and family especially if somebody is considering to buy a scooter and they are confused between whatever options they have you can share this video with them and uh, until the next video please stay at home stay safe please vaccinate yourself and uh, ciao guys bye bye for now